Welcome. In this lesson, we discuss about elimination method for solving simultaneous linear equations. I will demonstrate the method by giving examples and providing the solutions. So let's start. So we we'll start by the first question, solve the simultaneous equations. Solve the equations are three x plus five y equals to three, nine x plus y equals to two. To eliminate me, to do away with. So that means in these two equations. You decide which variable you are going to remove from the equations. And once you have done the elimination, you solve now for the other variable. So for example, we have 3x plus 5y equals to 3. nine x plus y equals to two. So for example, let's eliminate x. To eliminate x means we are going to take the coefficient of x in the second equation, multiply by the first equation and take the coefficient of the x in the first equation, multiply by the second equation. So once we have that arrangement, then nine by three X is 27 X, nine by five is 45 Y, nine by three is 27, three by nine is 27, three by Y is three Y, three by two is six. So then now you see that this new equations formed, if we subtract, we do away with x, or we'll say that we have eliminated the x from the two equations. 27x minus 27x is 0. 45y minus 3y is 42y. And 27 minus 6 is 21. So which means that 42y equals to 21 and to get y, you divide through by 42, and 21 divided by 42, we get a half. So y equals to a half. Now having y as a half, we can use any of the two equations to get x. So for example, if I pick the first one, I'll have three X plus five times a half equals to three. So I did decide to multiply everything by two. So I'll have six X plus five equals to six. And so six X equals to six minus five, which will be one. So six X equals to one. So X equals to one over six. So therefore, the solution would be x equals to 1 over 6 and y equals to a half. Example 2, solve the equations 3x minus 2y equals to 12, x plus 3y equals to minus seven. So you are free to eliminate any variable of your choice. So in this case, let's pick y. So eliminate y. Now to eliminate y, we write three x minus two y equals to 12 x plus three y 
equals to minus seven. So we are going to pick the coefficient of y in the second equation, multiplied by equation one, and coefficient of y in the second equation, which is minus two, multiplied by the second equation. So three times three x is nine x, three by minus two y is minus six y, three by 12 is 36, minus two by x is minus two x, minus two times positive three y is minus six y, minus two by minus seven is positive 14. So then once we have that, we now subtract the two equations. So subtract uh, these two equations. So we'll have subtract this two. 9x minus minus 2x is 11x. 6 y minus 6y minus minus 6y, this is like plus, so give us zero, so we don't have y. That six minus 14 is 22. That tells us that to get x, we divide through by 11, and this will give us x to be two. Once we have x to be two, then we can use any of the two equations to get y. So if we pick the second one, we'll say two plus three y, equals to minus seven. So three y equals to minus seven minus two. <clears throat> so three y equals to minus nine. So y, we divide by three by three. So y will be minus three. So therefore the solution to the equation, questions given will be x equals to two and y equals to minus three. Then next set of equations, we have three X minus Y equals to 14, two X plus Y equals to one. Now, even without struggling, we clearly see that in this set of equations, three, x minus y equals to 14, 2x plus y equals to 1. If we add them, then we'll do away with y. So 3x plus 2x is 5x, minus y plus y is 0, so we don't have y. 14 plus 1 is 15. So which means 5x equals to 15, which means x will be 15 over five, which will give us three. And then once we have x for three, we can get y. So if I use the second equation, I'll have two times three plus y equals to one. So this is six plus y equals to one. So y will be one minus six. So y equals to minus five. So the solution to the equation y equals to minus five and x equals to three. Here is another set of equations. So we have seven. Seven m minus two n equals to twenty six and 6m plus 5n equals to 29. So solution of this, if I decide to eliminate m, I'll have this. I'll multiply the first equation by six and multiply the second equation 
by seven so that I have the same coefficient for M after that product. So I have six by seven is 42, six by minus two is minus 12, six by 26 is 156, seven by six is 42, seven by five is 35, 29 by seven is 203. So I have same values, uh, same values for M. So I subtract. So minus 12 minus 35, I get minus 47 N 156 minus 203, I get minus 47. So to get N, I'll have to divide through by minus 47. So which means n equals to one. And when I have once I have n, I can get m. So if I use the first equation, I'll have seven m minus two times one to give me twenty-six. So seven m equals to twenty-six plus two. Seven m equals to twenty-eight m equals to 28 over seven, so m equals to four. So therefore m equals to four and n equals to one. So those are the solutions for that given set of equations. And then next we have solve, 3x equals to 2y, 4x plus y plus 11 equals to 0. What you do to solve this, we arrange so that same variables are in line. So our first one will give us 3x minus 2y equals to 0. 4x plus y equals to minus 11. So to use the elimination method, the first thing you have to do is to arrange the equation such that same variables are in the same column or same line. So this would be minus 2y. So then now multiply the first one by 4 multiply the second one by three. So the objective is to eliminate X. So 12 X minus eight Y, four by zero is zero. Three by four is 12. Four, three by Y is three Y. This is minus 33. Now we subtract these two equations. So 12x minus 12x is 0, minus 8y minus 3y is minus 11y. 0 minus minus 33 is positive 33. So this means minus 11y equals to 33. So I divide through by minus 11 by minus 11, which implies y is minus 3. So with y minus three, I can get x using say first equation. So three x equals to two times minus three. So three x equals to minus six. So x equals to minus six over three, which is minus two. So therefore x equals to minus two and y equals to minus three are the solutions. So that's how we use elimination method to solve simultaneous equations. Start by arranging the equations such that same variables are in line, and then decide which one to eliminate, get the answer, and use it to solve for the other one. Thank you.